Well, hello, my kindergarten friends, and welcome back to Library Class at Home with Mr. S. This week, we have been reading books written and illustrated by Mo Willems. And for the next couple of days, I am going to read you all three of the Knuffle Bunny books. I have Knuffle Bunny, then I have Knuffle Bunny 2, and then I have Knuffle Bunny 3, which is three. Um, when my kids were, were younger, they loved these books. These were some of their favorite books. In fact, my daughter loved this book so much that she drew all over the inside of it, which as we know from library class is a real no-no. So if you see some scribbling on this book, it's because my daughter loved it so much um, that she drew on it. Anyway, this is Nuffle Bunny. Knuffle Bunny. Knuffle Bunny. A Cautionary Tale, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. And here on the inside are all these Nuffle Bunnies, and they look like they're in some kind of machine. Do you know what kind of machine this is? That is a washing machine. Yes, it's where you do laundry. All right, look at all these great pictures. There's a picture when this couple got married, then when they had this little baby, and then when they brought the little baby home. And here is that little baby. That little baby's name is Trixie. So let's check out this story. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Mm. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park. And you know what I love about this book? These are actual photographs that Mo Willems had put these cartoon characters into. So these are actual photographs, and it might have been of, of where Mo Willems originally lived. It looks like New York City to me. And they went past the school and into the laundromat. And there is the laundromat. Boys and girls, have you ever been to a laundromat? It's a big building with a lot of washers and dryers. And for some reason, laundromats always smell really, really good. I think it's all the soap detergent and fabric softener. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She even got to put the money into the machine. And then they left. <gasps> Do you guys see who is still inside the machine? Do you think Trixie's going to realize that her little friend Knuffle Bunny has been left behind? But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh, she looks a little nervous. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, halable. That's right, said her daddy. We're going home. Do you think aggle, flaggle, clabble means we're going home? Not what I think it means. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle, plabble, won't be floppy? Snurp? Oh, poor Trixie. She's desperately trying to tell her daddy something. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. So Trixie bawled. <laughs> she went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Mm, look at him. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she said, Where's Knuffle Bunny? Oh, and Trixie's like, Mm-hmm. Yep. The whole family ran down the block. And they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and right back into the laundromat. Knuffle Bunny must be very important. Knuffle Bunny is very important. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh, Trixie does not look happy about that. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Knuffle Bunny. And there's Knuffle Bunny. And those were the first words that Trixie ever said. And that, boys and girls, is the end of the story. And she looks very, very happy to have her Knuffle Bunny back. And on the back cover, you know, I'm looking for that pigeon, but I don't see that pigeon in this book. So maybe the pigeon is not in all of the Mo Willems books.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story of Knuffle Bunny. Um, when my children were younger, I actually had a stuffed Knuffle Bunny um, that they, they carried around with we them everywhere. We had two everywhere. of them. We had two of them. I think one of them might be at the library in Spruce. When my daughter um, grew up a little and decided she didn't want her stuffed animals anymore, I believe I took one into school. So if you remember, um, if we ever make it back in there, um, remind me and I'll look for it and show it to you. Um, so... Anyway, that was Knuffle Bunny. Tomorrow, I am going to read you the next one, which is um, Knuffle Bunny 2. We're going to take a look at that then. What did you think of this story? Did you have a favorite stuffed animal? Uh, when you know, Maybe you have one now and you want to tell me about it. You can leave a comment on my Google Classroom page. Uh, I had a, a favorite stuffed animal. I think I talked about it a couple weeks ago. His name was Piggy, and I think I even posted a video about my sweet little stuffed animal. So you can tell me about your um, favorite stuffed buddy. Uh, do that in the Google Comments page, and don't forget to click the Turned In button so I know you guys saw this video. Check back tomorrow for the second Knuffle Bunny book. I'll see you guys then. Thank you.